Hi, we're here at Agile India 2017 with Yuta Eckstein. And uh, Yuta, how many, how many years have you been in this conference? Is this your first year? Actually, it's my second your year. Second so year. last year, I was the first time here, and I was so excited that I asked Naresh to invite me back. Excellent. <laughs> and um, you've got a workshop coming up on Saturday, uh, company-wide agility. That's very true. Yes. And it's really to the heart of what I'm doing right now. Do you want to talk a bit about it? Oh, I would love to. Awesome. So um, company-wide agility is really... Um, scaling, if you will, Agile outside of IT and really what does it mean to be an Agile company and Agile more in the sense of being flexible and adaptive. Mm -hmm. So the things that are required of companies right now, independent, which field they are in. Right. So it's not necessarily bound to like manifesto. Mm -hmm. Because it's not software, it's just general. What does it mean for, for legal or for the whole structure? Right. Or, yeah, Some of the same principles, I would imagine, apply, but we're not talking about just like applying Scrum to the other parts of the exactly. business. Exactly. Well, this is... This is a bit, I think, what we see right now. At least I'm, I'm hearing about this, and I also know some companies who have started implementing like a, a daily stand-up on the board of the directors' meetings right. or using a sprint backlog for that. But I, I think that's not getting us anywhere. Right. So, so what actually, this workshop is also about a book I'm co-writing right now with John Buck. And okay. John, he's from the field of sociocracy, so a different field than Agile. And so we're bringing this plus some other fields together. Excellent. And so the our first thing was that we wondered, well, if we ask different people, what do they think um, what an Agile company is characterized by, then we get different answers from people from different streams or mm -hmm. expertise. So for example, if we ask somebody from beyond budgeting, then they would say, as long as you're doing annual budgets, you will never be able right. to get adaptive and flexible because you're fixed with the targets yep. you made and the finances, right? And uh, similarly, if we talk to somebody like John from sociocracy, he would say, like, as long as the power structure is a hierarchy top, top down, mm -hmm. you will not be able to be flexible because you have centralized, centralized decision making, right. which just slows you down. A lot of these same principles we see in, in agile software development about self-management self and let's not uh, make a bunch of decisions up front, but now we're finding how exactly. does that apply in different parts of the business. Right, right. And so these are the, the two things. And then there are like, if you ask somebody from agile, we would all say, well, as long as a company is not starting inspecting and adapting, mm -hmm. you will not learn from the market, and therefore you don't even know where to go and what's your adaptation and flexibility right. you need to. And then we have a fourth one, which is open space slash open source, because I believe they have like the two, the same source, which is the belief that you will only be flexible if people can follow their passion. Okay. Right, so, and what we are doing, and that's also what we are doing with this workshop and with the book, is bringing these four streams together and see how this can help companies to really be agile in the, yes. like, flexible, adaptive sense. Right. Okay. The, if you're more <laughs> interested about that, so the other <laughs> thing that we were looking at is, okay, we... we we in our community, we know the Agile Manifesto. However, that has been created around creating software or building software. And so we looked at this and uh, thinking what values are needed for a company to be Agile. And so we used the manifesto as a guidance and came up with the four values as there are constant customer focus. So mm -hmm. what does it mean for a whole company to live that value? transparency as the second one, self-organization as the mm -hmm. third one, and the fourth one, continuous learning. And we just think if a company is able to focus on those values and take into account what those different streams are offering, they're really able to implement yeah, company-wide agility. Excellent. Okay, so if people want to uh, learn more, they can either come to your workshop this Saturday, or uh, we'll be looking forward to your upcoming book. Absolutely. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. Okay, well, thanks yeah. for talking with us today, and uh, enjoy the rest of Agile India 2017. Thank you so much.